if you're anything like Ken and myself, you have keys and coins, even jewelry lying around your house. And well, you need some place to put all this stuff so you don't lose it. So today, Ken is going to show us how to create a stylish and festive stamped trinket bowl to hold all of our treasures and our trinkets and our things that, well, they don't have a place. They so don't have a like, home. Honey, honey, where are my keys? Where are my keys? In the trinket bowl. In the trinket bowl. If you put them in the trinket bowl, they'd be there. <laughs> right, so I, I love these. They're, they're great to personal use. I always have one at one my bedside, one in the kitchen, but they're also great gifts. They're really beautiful gifts, um, and you can really customize them for the teacher, for someone at home, for the aunt, the uncle. Um, really fun. And you can make them really pretty and chic. Yes. And yes. I will say something. If you go out looking for these sort of trinket bowls, you might pay a lot of money for right. them. And I know that's not your style, Ken. Not my style. And, you not know, paying style. for trinket bowls is not my, not style, my style either. Because I always think, why am I going to pay so much money for this bowl? Right. Make it yourself. Make, Make it, it yourself. yourself. And it starts with this beautiful Crayola air dry clay. Right. So I'm going to tell you a little Crayola story. So, you know, my kids love Crayola. They have forever. They love all the things that they can make with them. But I had never really made anything adult for myself. So I said, I'm going to discover this. And I went to the craft store and I just like bought a bunch of Crayola stuff. And I'm like, I'm really going to play around with a lot of this product that I wasn't as familiar as you are oh, with. Oh, yeah. Well, You're... Alexandra and I became the Crayola queens over the summer. We did so <laughs> many Crayola crafts and had a really great time. And this stuff is magical. It really is. Yeah. So for those that don't know, so this is the Crayola air dry clay. Um, so what it oh, is, it's a clay it. that, that dries. You don't need an oven for it. And it becomes hard. Hard. It actually becomes a hard clay, unlike Model Magic, which is super fun, yeah. but stays sort of slightly flush where you can use it for different Over projects. and over. I have right, the Model exactly. Magic, too. So I had a lot of fun with this. You're going to get it. It's not as sticky as regular clay. It's very, very easy to work with. And all I did was roll it out on a piece of parchment or wax paper just using a rolling pen. Okay. That's which what we're going to start. done for me over here. Now, you stop playing with the clay, uh, It's just, it's really <laughs> fun to play with it. It's also like a great stress reliever, So we're anything gonna, else. For you, we're going to work on these beautiful white ones that have the words joy, peace, and love stamped in them. All you can do is get okay. that salad plate right there. Do I need to roll it out at all, or you got to go? It's rolled and ready to go. Just a little more. Why not? Just because it's fun. And you're just going to get any round item, like a salad plate, the okay. top of a mixing bowl. Just pop that on top there, Debbie. Right. And then just cut a, cut around it with the um, exacto. exacto blade. Exactly. Um, and the thing is, this the clay will last quite very long, just keep it in its sealed container. Whatever right. you don't use, the scraps, pull it away, ball it back up, put it back, put it back in the in. tub. Um, Waste and not, I what made, not. what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of these, and I still oh haven't gone through a full a full tub of the clay yet. So, okay, so I'm gonna pull once it you away. get that apart, Debbie, I'm going to okay. show you a little tip for the edge. And also make sure you have a mat or something underneath because this cuts straight Not through. Not your dining room table. Right. Um, dip your finger in that little cup of water over there, and okay. you're going to run that around the clay edge. And what that's going to do Oh, wait. Do I take the plate off first? Take the plate off. Okay. Well, leave, I'm sorry. Leave the plate on. Rub I'll your finger leave the plate on. The edge. Okay. I'm going to rub my finger on the edge. And that Gosh, gives it a like... nice, very <gasps> smooth finish. It'll look like glass when you're done. Yeah. Now you look... can remove your plate. Okay. And you're going to basically have the form of your bowl ready to go. There we so go. As easy as that. Oh my now, gosh. for those ones, the joy, peace, and love, I just used a stamp set. If you can find a clay stamp set, that's going to be better because they're a little bit deeper versus an ink stamp. Okay. Um, and so you won't get the outline of the block. Do I take it off the plate? Go ahead and take it off there. And I'm going to let you stamp away over there, Debbie. Okay. And I'm going to start on my one over here. So, so for mine, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I've already rolled it out into a rectangle. And what I'm going to use are these, which are wood print rollers. They look work a little bit differently. They're continuous. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here, and I'm just going to roll. And what it will do is, if you can see there, it creates a continuous stamp that will work as long as you keep rolling. So now what I'm going to do with this one is instead of using the plate, once I've done that, all I'm going to use is a straight edge and my X-Acto, and I'm going to cut away the ex excess using that. Okay. Boom. Nice. How you doing over there, Deb? I'm doing well. So just love, right? Just love. You can do whatever you want. This is a great, like a monogram, oh a little like thing for um, a couple for their wedding. Um, you could do their oh. initials. Super Sweet. elegant. So all I'm doing is cutting my rectangle right here. And now once you have your pattern, what you're gonna do is create your shape. Okay. And what we're always, I just raided the kitchen here and I found different um, glass bowls, whatever shape you want. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna take 
our clay piece and I'm just gonna flop it. Wait, right on, on, on what top. we just stamped, huh? Exactly. You can do it on the inside of the bowl, but I found that it didn't really, um, it, it is harder to get out. It's not gonna ruin the stamp? Nope, it's not gonna ruin. So all you're gonna do is let that stay as it is. Okay. For about two to three days and just let it air dry. I have I one that's already done down there for a you. A little bit like Demi Moore from the from movie Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> is that Patrick Swayze? We have no Patrick Swayze here today. Oh my gosh. Um, and then you can pop that right off there and you're all done. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so cute, Ken. Now this is where I started to have a lot of fun. So, so, one of the things I love about this, if you're as artistic as we are here on the show, do it this way. If you're not and a little bit shyer, Crayola actually makes a trinket tray kit that will oh. come with the clay, um, a mold, the paint, all you need nice. to do. Nice, okay. If you want to create your own, you can get these wonderful color palettes that are already mixed together. Yeah. So you can, it's, they this. all go together, so you've got a palette if you're comfortable, but not too comfortable. With yours, Debbie, I got the um, the tempera paint. Okay. And what I did was I mixed it with water to water it down, so it will go as a glaze overneath. Oh. So I love so the fact the you whole can be as thing. complicated as you want. For me, I got this set, I combined the two shades of brown with a drop of black, to create this wonderful sort of like leather stain. It's really to get beautiful. get that sort of leather look and I watered it down slightly so it will puddle in the groove. It almost looks like weathered leather. Exactly, so I love the fact that you can really be as complicated or as not complicated as you want to. To get that gold edge, yes. I use these gold pins. Which I love. Simply here, went right around the edge. And for the red and gold ones, I used this gorgeous set of paints here which are super, super sophisticated mm -hmm. to get that red interior with the metallic paint on the outside. So get as complicated as you want or get the kit and keep it as simple. Now how long would we let these dry? You let them dry for uh, two to three days before okay. you paint. Once you paint, just for a few hours and then I like to coat them with a nice clear coat. Oh, just a few hours after you paint them. That's exactly. what I meant. Okay, there you Lovely. go. Lovely, so and we have our the... Christmas gifts done. <laughs> for you, and that one's for me. I'll give that to John. <laughs> Oh, perfect. It's beautiful. <laughs> Seriously, this is so easy and so much fun. And honestly, your whole family will enjoy working with this clay. That's gorgeous. Thank you very much. And I have those paints as well. We've had so much fun with all the Crayola <laughs> stuff. I'm not kidding. For full instructions, you all please head on over to hallmarkchannel.com. And be sure to check out crayola.com slash crafts for more project ideas and inspiration.